So before we start, I want to first break down how the video is going to go so that it's easy for you to follow along and you get the best result by watching this video. So number one, I'll solve the equation just like I do in my course, breaking it down step by step. Number two, once I'm done, you will see a similar equation as an image, right? For you to try on your own, please pause the video at that point and test whether you understand. Three, afterwards, you'll see the solution so you can check your work and learn from it. To make it even easier, I've added timestamp in the video so you can jump into any sections you want. Now, before we start the equation, I just quickly want to mention the fact that the equation is from one of my courses, which you will see on the screen and also see the price range. In the course, I cover many more questions like this, starting from right from the beginning, meaning from the basic, building you up for more challenging questions like the one probably you see on the screen right now, which falls under like, I think, challenging questions. If the course is sold for X, if it's the course is the sold for X course, just know the fact that it's completely free when you purchase any of my other grade 12 courses. All the information on how to get the courses, including my WhatsApp number, is in the description. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions about the courses. All right, with that said, we can start with the video. So now let's do this question, right? It says, determine, it says, consider a series, right? So it's, it's n is equal to negative 3 plus 5 plus 13 plus 21 till n terms, right? So the first one, it says, determine the general term. So they're looking for tn, right? Of the series in, in a form of tk so here what they just did is that instead of saying n they say tk but you're using the same thing right so now remember the fact that to find your general term is that it's going to be what it's going to be tn is equals to what it's a plus open bracket n minus one then it's going to be d so you need your a and d right so now we're going to change the n into k so it's going to be tk is equals to a plus open bracket k minus one then multiply by t. So that's what we need. that's what we're looking for, right? So we know the fact that this is going to be 3.1, right? So we need what? We need our a, and we have it as negative 3. We're going to need our d. So we're going to find the difference here, right? So it's going to be what? It's going to be uh, 5 minus minus 3, which is we're going to get our difference as being 8. Then if we say 13 minus 5, we're going to say we're going to get 8. So we know the fact that here D is equals to 8, right? So I can substitute 2 under the first question. So it's going to be TK is equals to what? To a negative 3, right? Plus open bracket is going to be K minus 1. Then it's going to be 8 here, right? Distribute the 8. So it's going to be TK, right? It's equals to what? It's equals to negative 3. Then it's going to be plus 8K then it's going to be minus 8, right? So you're going to say negative uh, 3 minus 8, which is going to be negative 11. So tk is basically equals to y to 8k minus what? Minus 11. So then you sort it with answering this question, right? So now 3.2, it says write down Sn in sigma notation, right? So if I had to write this in sigma notation, is that I'm just going to use my sigma. Remember the fact that it's going to be sigma like this, right? Here at top comes the last term. They tell us the fact that the last term is up to n terms. So here at the top is going to be n terms, right? Then, so this is going to be Sn is equals to, right? Then our first term, we're we going to start at what? Here, we're going to start at k is equals to 1. Always when you write your own sigma, we always start at k is equals to 1. So it's going to be k is equals to 1 here, right? Then we're just going to put this general form, this general term here. So it's going to be 8k minus 1. Minus 11, sorry. So this is how you would write your sigma notation, right? So this is how you would do it. So now we move to 3.3. It says, I show that Sn is equals to uh, 4n squared minus 7n, right? So now we need to show the fact that this is equals to that. So I'm going to use this formula, which is Sn is equals to n divided by 2, open bracket 2a, right? Plus open bracket n minus 1, then it's going to be d, then close bracket, right? Everything needs to be in terms of n, so we need to get rid of a and d. So let's do that. So we know the fact that's going to be n divided by 2, open bracket, 2n. We know the fact that a, uh, 2a, a is equal to negative 3, right? 
then it's going to be what? It's going to be n minus 1. Then it's going to be our d. Remember, we found it as being 8. So let's just uh, simplify this inside bracket. So it's going to be n divided by 2. Then it's going to be what? It's going to be negative 6. And then, then distribute the 8. So it's going to be plus 8n, right? Then it's going to be minus 8, right? So let's clean that up. So it's going to be what? It's going to be n divided by 2. Right, so it's going to be what? It's going to be 8n, right? Then it's going to be minus 14, right? So distribute the n divided by 2 inside. So you're going to have the fact that you're going to have 4n squared. Then it's going to be minus 7n, which is exactly like this. So that's how you would do this question.